people that I work with, it's, uh, it's fun when everybody is on the same page and everybody's trying to uh, get the job done. And it's, uh, it's a great group of people. Uh, the thing I enjoy, enjoy most about working at NetStreams is the uh, high pay and the low hours per week. What I enjoy the most working about working at NetStreams is uh, before I started working here, I used to have to spend a lot of time with my family at nights and weekends. Uh, but now I've got plenty to do. You know, most of the time I'm not even home, uh, so it, it gives me the ability to stay busy all the time. I guess I'd have to say the people, and uh, definitely it's never a dull moment around here. You know, on a daily basis things get out of control, but everybody has a good sense of humor and we always pull together as a team. So definitely those two I would have to say. Hmm, good question. What do I enjoy the most about working at NetStreams? I enjoy the creativity, I enjoy the excitement of taking an industry into a new dimension. I enjoy the team building experience. I enjoy the people. It's quite a bit that I enjoy here at this. With me uh, working with a company, it's it's always the first thing would be people, and I, I love the NetStreams people. Uh, secondly, a NetStreams case is really easy to answer. Uh, this is the most exciting product line I've ever seen. It's like a candy, uh, a child in a candy store. Uh, I, I, I love the products. Uh, I like working. <laughs> I like working because I get paid. <laughs> uh, I get out and I get to see people. You guys put up with me, so that's probably as best I can answer it. <laughs> so. The fact that Herman travels a lot. I like working with the people, and we have a fun product to build. The thing I enjoy most about working at NetStreams is the fact that I get to play with the really cool toys and work with some really cool people. Um, I'd say it definitely have to be the people that work here. I, you know, I've never worked with a better bunch of people. Oh, well, could be the free soda. Wow, there are so many things to enjoy. Working with industry mavens such as Paul Brayson, Michael Braithwaite, and Herman Cardenas, and wow, Jimmy Owsley, and uh, Michael Leonard, and oh my gosh, I just can't, I can't believe it. How lucky am I? Wow, that's one nice thing. But another nice thing is, I've got two Mr. Wonderfuls to keep me company. You're perfect just the way you are. Thank I you. One thing. <laughs> company picnics. We have free soda, and the parking's awfully good. <laughs> but in all reality, um, we have a really good team here, and that's that's what I like the most. I, everybody seems seems to think seems to know what they're doing. <laughs>features that I'm most proud of is the uh, fact that all of our speakers are synchronized. They all play the same music at the same time and that's working pretty well right now. I'm pretty proud of the UDS-10 mainly because we wrote in about two days and we've had very few tech support calls on it. Well my proudest moments are when I get to work uh, side by side with Dan. Um, sometimes I get to do the trivial stuff like all the back end code for a button he might create and that's really rewarding when he can create a button as complicated as saying shuffle and then I get to do just the silly stuff at the back end uh, and then just kind of look like you know I get to be part of, of Dan's whole world and, and that you know you can, couldn't be prouder. Well for, for me I'm mostly proud to work with the team because we, we work on most all the products and so I don't really care um, in particular which products uh, as long as we have the great team and, and everybody is motivated to, to accomplish the goals. So. Well, um, I think what I've enjoyed working on the most is uh, building the company, starting out with uh, the conversations that we had in my breakfast room table back in New Mexico between Mike and Paul and Kirk and I and uh, then driving those concepts and ideas into something tangible, watching the company 
achieve successes. Um, watching people get excited about what we do and then investing in the company and uh, sitting back and looking at where the company is today. I know we will travel a lot further than we are today, but uh, just getting to the point where we are today has been quite an accomplishment. The, uh, the project that I'm the most proud of working with the NetStreams team would be in the planning area. Uh, NetStream is such an industry leader and has such a great position and there's so many uh, places we can go and things we can do that it's just really exciting and, and, and I love the, the planning process. I really think NetStreams needs to uh, look into the high-end golf equipment industry. really like to see them working on the next generation of golf clubs. I like working on all of our products. Uh, it's very interesting to see um, how digital links evolve from an idea, a thought on a piece of paper, to actually a real product now. So that's what I'm proud of. The uh, thing about that I like working here, the kind of activity or thing that I've done, is the fact that I'm getting in on digital links when it's kind of hitting the ground floor. So I get to actually see it from the beginning when the public gets it. Well, I think the uh, speaker links turned out pretty well. The marketing department carries a lot of projects. Of course, it's really difficult to pick out which project I'm extremely happy about. There are so many. I'd rather turn it over to my team because every single project they complete is done to perfection and on time, and they rock. And that's what I'm most proud of. Well, I've gotten to do a lot of different things here. Um, kind of curious about this key link thing, you know. It's, uh, I'm kind of proud of it, uh, and obviously I'm doing pretty good because it's already in a catalog, so I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> well, I think the next obvious step is uh, go into video and integrate uh, the audio with the video and take advantage of the stuff that we've already done. Well, what I'd really like to see Net, NetStream work on next is high-definition video over power lines. I think that would really meld the technology base that we have here with, with our GE Smart knowledge and uh, our multimedia knowledge. And I think there'd be a big market for having high-definition video that you could just plug in into your electricity socket. Well, um, I like to work on products that make us a lot of money because uh, I'm greedy <laughs> and I want to retire a wealthy man. So. Uh, as long as uh, we position ourselves uh, when the right opportunity comes along, then, uh, then we'll all get rich. So. Well, I think obviously for me, I'm excited about the video products. Um, I'm on the road a lot, get banged on a lot by the dealers and installers, and they've made very clear what things they want to see in their uh, product, in the, in the DigiLink product lineup. And uh, right at the front of that pack is control products. Uh, that interface with our current DigiLink products and um, right behind that is video. Well, the future products uh, next to me would be video. I'd love to see us add the same kind of capability on the video side that we currently have in distributed audio. I think it'd be done. I would like to see NetStreams work on video distribution next. I think that's going to be a very big and exciting problem. I want to work on the new NetStream screwdriver. I think we should add a laser. Hmm, kind of future products. Well, I have a laundry, laundry list that's about 1.8 million items long, but I'm sure they can handle it all. The top of my list, really, is the NetStreams Beam Me Up Scotty machine. You know the machine. Think about the value proposition. It could save a lot of time and money on travel for corporations. Think about the improvement in productivity in the United States. Why, hell, our GDP would increase by at least five points with this machine. And most of all, think about the profit. Go, guys, go. I think we should play DVDs on the TouchLink. I want to work on this big old TouchLink thing. <laughs> That's cool. Um, or uh, perhaps a surround sound package deal. Uh, that'd be cool. Well, I'm hoping NetStreams becomes a large company with, with lots of products and the, the, the excitement that we have right now is still there five years from now. Well, five years from now, I really see that NetStreams will probably be in India, possibly Korea, um, maybe Iraq if it's cheaper. 
um, as a large organization, um, definitely um, stock soaring and lots of people and just a big organization. In five years, uh, we hope uh, to be about a $150 million company. I expect us to be in a totally new location, obviously. In fact, that may happen sooner than later. I expect us to uh, be uh, selling quite a few different product lines, all related to digital entertainment. I, I think in five years, uh, we've heard people for a long, long time talk about bringing IT and entertainment together. In five years, it's going to happen, and NetStreams will be one of the most significant companies to make that happen in that time frame. It, it'll be a big name. I see NetStreams as leading the industry in IP, audio, and video distribution. Okay. In five years, I hopefully we'll see uh, NetStreams in a much, much bigger building. I have no idea. Hmm. I see us in Austin. Oh, wait, we're there now. <laughs> I see us driving nice cars, working, still probably pretty hard, but leading the industry. Because I don't see the industry in five years as it is right now. I think we are on the crux of starting a major revolution in our industry. And uh, yeah, we'll be in Austin. I want NetStreams to be that company that people recognize. That I can go, hey, I work for NetStreams, and they go, hey, isn't that that company that does that cool audio video distribution? One of the moments that I most remember is uh, we gave a demonstration to the venture capitalists uh, in December of, uh, of last year, and that demo went very well and I was extremely proud of uh, all the effort we'd made and how well the demo went. I think I'm most proud of, of our team when we came together uh, with very short notice to put together a package to immortalize Boris's dog. Uh, we had very little time. We had to get it under the radar and get it all the way to Taiwan before anybody knew what happened. And uh, four or five of us came together, uh, you know, forsaking our families and our jobs, and, uh, and now Boris's dog is immortalized. Well, I think the, just shipping the first Digilinks product, um, I, I know a lot of people have been working for a long time to, to make that happen, and, and of course, uh, when I came here, there was, there was still a lot to do, so uh, it felt good to, to see that come to closure and to, actually ship. I haven't seen the money come in, but I, I'm assuming it did. So. I've always been proud to be part of the NetStreams team. I think a special moment was when I walked in the CDA show and I saw the people lined up in the booth and uh, I saw that, that uh, NetStreams was the hit of the show and the enthusiasm and I saw the professionalism, the way our people were performing and, and I, I was really proud. Um, the proudest moment I've had at the company was wheeling in the first shipment, production shipment of Digilinks product. Uh, I was very proud when we received our funding and validated what we were doing and uh, uh, was a very nice thing. Uh, Cedia 2003. I've, I don't think I've ever seen any b group of people work harder on anything in my life. Moment that made me proud to be part of the NetStreams team. Probably the most significant moment was when we received our first re award and reward <laughs> for Musica at Cedia. That made me extremely proud to be part of the NetStreams team. But then there was this other moment where I had actually gone in a photo shoot, scratched up my arm, and Jimmy Owsley was trying to bandage it in some really screwed up, messed up way. And I was sitting there thinking, wow, you know, if I was at a larger company, I'd have to file workman's comp for this. But I'm not. I'm proud to be part of the NetStreams team. We rock. Uh, I think uh, everybody would.